so the app is running now now the first step start when the user click on the create account button now without selecting the image you know that the first condition is here from where it starts we have not selected the profile image and we tap we tap on the create account button so it is not showing the snack bar so I'm going to check so we got an error for this profile image now as you know that the type of this profile image is as we are controlling it using a text at management and the type of this is rx file so instead of adding condition using this in which we have basically our profile image okay instead of this we will make use of image file so we can say authentication controller dot image file okay so if image file this must not be equals to null so make sure to instead of profile image just in the condition just in the condition so just say dot image file if this is not equals to null okay let's just install the app again on our phone let's go to create account now when we tap on the create account then it will show us image file missing please pick image from gallery or capture with phone camera that is it execute this else statement you see when the image is not picked it will show you image file is missing so you must choose the image file so let's say you can capture with phone camera or pick an image from gallery let's pick image from gallery quickly so I will choose this one now when we click on the create account button that said a field is empty please fill out all fields in the text fields so you know that now the image is selected the image is selected so this condition stands true it will come inside it and it will check if any field is missing which are basically the sponsor personal info text field appearance text field lifestyle text fields and background cultural values fields if any field is empty or if it is not filled okay it will su su simply tell you that is a field is empty please fill out all fields in the text fields fill out simply means fill up this complete registration form so when we fill up this complete registration form and you know that in this case when any field is missing then this is basically this inner else statement let me show it to you which is this one okay a field is empty and this so now when we fill out this all form this all fields all registration form then it will execute that is if condition will stand true and then it will call this method which is create new user account so let's just fill out this form completely so let's say the name is now here we have this small mistake uh, that is we mixed up the password and phone text editing controller so let's just fix this and that is here in our registration screen registration form inside the personal info just you have to check out you see for the phone it is phone text editing controller okay and for the password it is password so anyways you can just hot reload and it will fix that okay just you have to change this phone phone text editing controller so anyways I will now provide password and then my phone number now here we also have this problem for what you are looking for in a partner text field as you see it is uh, mixed with the email field so just come to what you are looking for in a partner here it is okay you see for this by mistake we forgot to change this to looking for in a partner text editing controller okay so when you hot reload it will fix that
so let's say the john religion is as we are creating the account for john parker so here you can write let's say john parker religion is christian or let's say other um, religion you can type here and then ethnicity we will say so we fill out all the form so now as you know that all the fill uh, form is fill out so now when we click on the create account button then the inner if condition that is image file is already selected so this com condition stands true and all the fields are filled up that is we fill up the sign up form no one is empty so this if condition will also stands true and when it stands true then it will come inside the if condition so now when we click on the create account button it will start showing us the progress bar and it will call this method which is create new user account and to this create new user account method we are passing all this information as you know as a parameter which you already see here and already discuss which we receive here because this information which we are receiving here we have to save it this information to the database to the firestore database so first we say try that is inside here first we create the user inside the firebase authentication each user has email password inside the authentication and a unique uid is assigned to each new user inside the firebase authentication when we test now the application you will see it i will show it to you guys so the first step is this one then next thing that we have done is the second step is to upload image to storage and for that purpose we have our this method upload image to storage so inside the firebase storage we create inside the storage this folder and each new user uh, uh, profile image we save by the user uid by the user uid that is inside this profile images each user image we can recognize using the user id it will be the name of the image file so we start up we put file or you can say start uploading okay and when the image is uploaded successfully we get as a result the download url of image which this method will return as a response so this method is returning us the download url which we assign to this variable so what we do we created a person uh, model class and you know that the reason for creating this person model class is uh, specifically the when we want to save data to the firestore database first we convert that data to json format and using these two json uh, we basically convert our data to json form and we save it to the firestore database this is the main important first feature which you see now how we done it here for that purpose as you can see we create an instance of our personal model class so first we pass a, pass this information personal information appearance lifestyle background all this information we pass to our person constructor which is a constructor of our person model class so inside the constructor we receive this information okay as we have this information so we assign the values to it basically that is url of downloaded image is coming here inside this this dot image profile or you can say for the url of downloaded image when it is saved to the firestore database it will be saved by this key name the email value will be saved inside the firestore database by this email key the password inside the firestore database will be saved by this key name and how we know we convert our data to json format how first we create a reference that is where in the database it will be saved inside the database a user main collection will be created under the user main collection each user record will be recognized by each user uid okay and then under that uid we will save the user complete information which we are passing as in json format okay so you see that this person instance simply means this whole information of the person or user so this whole information is accessible by this person instance and we convert that to json 
so person incident dot two JSON simply means that which I already told you that is inside the database the image profile value will be served by this key, key name the email value will be served by this key name the password value will be served by this key, key name and so on for the other one okay up to the ethnicity that is the ethnicity value will be served by this key name inside the Firestore database so that is why we create the person model class so once the information is served successfully to the Firestore database we will display this message that account created and then we will send the user to the home screen otherwise if any error occur then we will display this message now in case of successful creation of the account or if any error occur that is unsuccessful crea creation of the account okay we call this method and we wait for it so either the account is created successfully or not after execution of this method we will we have to make sure to this I mean to disappear the progress bar which we start displaying earlier before calling this method so when it is executed successfully we want to make sure that is we close the progress bar that's why we set it to false again now let's click on the create account and you see this is the progress bar I'm talking about so it is now going to save the information so let's wait for it account created congratulations your account has been created which simply means that it executed this whole try block and no error occur and uh, it displays this message and it sends us to the home screen now according to the code explanation which I tell you first of all this step let's check it in the database so go to the console firebase.google.com and now if we go to the authentication this is the first step you see a user has been created with email and password password is secure of course this is the UID about which I am talking about user UID is each user will have its unique own UID okay then the second step was we upload the image to the Firebase storage so if we go to the storage then you see that the folder by the name profile images is created and under that profile images folder each user image is served by its unique UID so you see the image of the person is served by its unique UID you see that okay this is the UID of this John this was the second step which I already told you let me show it to you okay under inside the profile images folder by the user unique ID that image file is saved now the third step was to save the user information to database which is basically this whole information which is saved in JSON format okay and each user record is saved inside the user man collection by the user unique UID now let's check it so you see that a user man collection is created and inside the users man collection each user record is saved under the user UID which is a unique UID so for example this UID belongs to the user whose email is this one John so you see this is the whole information of this user who created account John Parker you see this is all the information and it is in the JSON format which we send from our Flutter application that is it is in the format of key value for example edge is the key and its value is this 28 body type is the key and its value is this city is the key and this city value is this country is the key and country value is this drink is the key and its value is this education is the key and it is its value so this is all about how our this sign up process is executed so I hope now you understand easily what we have implemented so far in this section